Hello world, this is a response to Billy Bob Joe 57's video, um, Revolt in America. I know this is a little long in coming since he made it three days ago, but now is when I got it done. So, armed uprising in this country is a logistical nightmare on every single level. The founders faced a much different and a much simpler set of problems, the first of which is uh, the weaponry issue. They were expected to use flintlock muskets and hunting rifles to start a war at that time. Most people had those in their back room or could easily get a hold of them. In modern days, we use assault rifles to conduct war. Um, but they're just not cheap and easy to get a hold of, not in the same way they are in war-torn countries like Nigeria, where you can get uh, an AK-47 from a street vendor for $10. So with 19 friends and 200 bucks, you can start a war in Africa. There's no such option here. I think that's a good thing, but it does severely limit the prospects. Also, the landmass is just too huge. There's, uh, there's no way you could, you could get a revolution going coast to coast in, in any coordinated fashion. It's just not possible. The original insurgency was conducted in a much smaller area that was untamed and largely not even controlled by the British in the first place. There was only barely the illusion of control for most of the time, and that illusion was broken when the war began. Also, our survival is attached to technology in a way that theirs never was. Um, we all have running water and electricity and uh, communications, which are controlled by corporations, which can be controlled by the government in a time of emergency. What this means is that we would be almost without any of the modern comforts that make things so much easier. So we would have to spend a lot of time boiling and purifying water, um, investing in mechanical devices instead of electrical while the US government is busily drawing war strategies on their amazing computers and watching us from helicopters. Um, there's also an apathy generated by the comfort of this nation and that's very simple. You couldn't get an uprising of say a hundred million people which would be about a third of our population. Um, you just couldn't get it and um, revolution with guns would serve only to increase the oppression and to silence the leaders of said revolution. It is my belief that the time for that revolution has long since passed, but it is now time to bring forth the revolution of reason. 